Good evening and welcome to New England Newsmakers. I'm Sarah Zapp. Tonight, a one-on-one -on -one with Farrah Gray. From public assistance to nationally recognized billionaire and millionaire, Farrah Gray. Farrah Gray is the ultimate American success story. He comes from a single parent family living in the Chicago projects. Following his mother's hardworking example, Farah decided from a very young age that he would pursue his dream of changing his family's life for the better. And he has accomplished that goal, becoming a self-made millionaire by age 14. You had no fear. And I know you, you have nine steps and want to get to three key ones. And one I think is so key is like you, you cannot fear rejection. Fear. Oh, absolutely not. I believe that everything we want is on the other side of fear. When we, we have to develop a healthy fear of not doing what we want to do. So many times we're so afraid, well, what, what happens if I don't do this? Or what happens if I do this? I always say it's amazing what you, what you can accomplish when you don't know what you can't do. And someone, even, doesn't matter what your circumstances are, because people, as you say, can look at you. You were growing up in the projects in, in Chicago, but there was an opportunity, and you seized it. Everyone at some point in their life, don't you feel they have some kind of opportunity and you're talking about seizing that? Absolutely. Most people say you have to be at the right place at the right time. I feel you have to be everywhere all the time with your homemade business cards, whether you're seven <laughs> or not. And I wanted more for my family. We were uncomfortable and I feel that comfort is the enemy of achievement. And in order to be successful, you must find things within your life that you're uncomfortable about and that you want to change. All right, Trump Jr., I know where you're coming <laughs> from. Thank you very much, Thank Far you Gray. for having me. Appreciate it. Thank Good you. advice. Our next guest achieved financial success at an unbelievably young age, making his first million, that's right, his first million by the age of 14. Farrah Gray created and sold his own food company based on maple syrup. Farrah Gray, now 20 years old, is a business mogul, motivational, motivational speaker, and just wrote a book on how to become a realionaire. Please welcome Farrah Gray. Thank now, you for having me. Great for having you, sir. Now, I have to read this because people are not going to believe it. I'm going to embarrass you for a minute. Just very quickly, age six, you sold body lotion door to door for $1.50. Uh, age seven, you carried a business card that read 21st Century CEO. Age eight, formed the Urban Neighborhood Economic Enterprise Club. Age nine, co hosted a radio show backstage live in Las Vegas, reached 12 million listeners. Age 12, lucrative career doing speaking engagements, earning him five to $10,000 appearance. Age 13, started Far Out Foods, which you sold at age 14 for a million dollars. Age 16, acquired Inner City Magazine from Inner City Broadcasting. Age 17, financed a comedy show in Las Vegas Strip. 19, became a contributing author. 20, elected as the youngest member to sit in the board of directors, National Association of Real Estate Brokers. How can I give back? How can I be of service? And I created uh, the Far Gray Foundation, where I give a percentage of my own money to uh, after school inner city literacy programs. So right. I think that those are a few steps that I feel it takes to be successful. Well, good for you. I, I can't imagine where you'll be in 20 years from now. I hope you're running for office and making this country a better place because you are such a special young man. Thank the great you. thing about my job is I get to interview newsmakers and celebrities and politicians and athletes. And you're about the most impressive guy I've met. So continue success. Thank sir. you. I really mean that. Very great. Someone. A guy to watch and invest in. Gray is an internationally known and respected entrepreneur who addresses more than a half a million people per year on leadership, personal development, strategic planning, creativity, business development, financial management, and sales and marketing. Former President Bill Clinton states, I know Farah Gray, and we have discussed his future. His motivation determines what he will do. His attitude determines how well he will succeed at making a difference. Montel Williams Show says, need to know how to make a million bucks? Just ask Farah. Dallas Morning News reports, Far Gray is a tycoon. NBC News, he wasn't born with a silver spoon in his mouth, but now he can afford one. BET.com describes Farah Gray as a savvy mogul. CBS News names Far Gray America's Millionaire. Envy Magazine states Far Gray is one of the most respected and uncommon entrepreneurial minds to date.
tonight on the WB News at 10. He's a local that made his first million at age 14. Now at age 21, he says he's ready to share some of those secrets with the rest of us. Because I believe it's amazing what you can accomplish when you don't know what you can't do yet. There was a story that was told to me about an eight-year-old who was in art class. He was drawing a picture of God. His art teacher walked up to him and said, what are you doing? He said, I'm drawing a picture of God. She said, young man, no one knows what God looks like. He kept drawing. He looked up and said, they will when I finish my picture. So you have to be able to see your success. Because as Einstein once said, your imagination is more powerful than your knowledge of the situation. Well, look, first let me ask a question. How many people believe there's talent in this room? Okay. Everybody. Exactly. The world is full of talented people. But what makes one person succeed while another person fails? Drive, determination, and hustle. Even Abe Lincoln was known to have said back in the day, yes, there will be things that will come to those who wait, but only what's left by those who hustle. So I went around with my little red lunchbox telling people I was the 21st century CEO. I didn't really know what that meant. I had seen it on TV. At first, I was, was, was going to call myself the president of my company. So I wrote down, I cut out some cardboard. I saw people passing out business cards. So I wrote down, president. So I said, well, no. I said, I don't know why I thought this, but at seven, I said, well, maybe I can't call myself the president. I said, people might get me confused with the president of the United States. So I don't know why I thought this, but I did. So I said, no, I can't say that. So I saw someone on television. He said, ladies and gentlemen, here's the 20th century CEO. So everybody clap for him. Oh, come on out. I said, okay. I said, hmm. I said, I don't remember who the guy was, but I said, ah, I said, I'm going to be doing business in the 21st century. So I said, I'm going to write down 21st century CEO. Ask yourself three questions. What comes easy to you, but harder to others? What would you do and work for years and years to come and never have to get paid for it? And the third question is, how can you be of service? How can you give back? You don't call yourself a millionaire. You call yourself a realionaire. Oh, absolutely. Now, what's a realionaire? Like, what's the difference? A billionaire is someone who is rich from the inside out. I had seen so many millionaires who were just miserable, and I had seen so many poor people growing up in a poor neighborhood who were rich on the inside. So for me, I wanted both. So I said, I want to be a billionaire. So drop the mill and add the real. It's fun, it's fun to listen to you because when you see, when we see someone, when anyone sees someone like you have success, you feel so happy for them. Mm -hmm. That's why we all love Oprah because you look at them and you go, "That's someone who's giving back." <laughs> Well, he grew up in inner city Chicago, and he went from being penniless to prosperous. As a matter of fact, by the time he was 14 years of age, he was a self-made millionaire. Hmm. 14. Did a little better than me at 14, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm talking about Farah Gray. His book is entitled Reillionaire, Nine Steps to Becoming Rich from the Inside Out. Right. It's a fascinating story, a fascinating guy. Reillionaire was nominated for NBC and Publishers Weekly Quill Awards. His book appeared on Amazon and Barnes & Noble's bestseller list two weeks prior to its international release. Reillionaire was also named as the number one best-selling non-fiction paperback book in Essence Magazine.